Hi there. Does your MacBook sound like this? Or does the heat caramelize your thighs to a medium rare doneness? If so, spread some aloe vera on them thick thighs and let's get started with the video. Unless you live at a hospital or a sterilized environment, you probably have dust floating around. It gets sucked up by your computer while choking the shit out of it, causing overheating and for your fans to run at full throttle so that your MacBook doesn't explode and take your face with it. Or if you're a fat piece of shit like me, you'll probably find some Dorito crumbs in there too. So today I'm going to show you how to safely clean the inside of your Mac. You probably got a lot of caked up dust and bits and stuff in there. And most of the time with overheating and fans going crazy, it's just a matter of ventilation. And honestly, you should be doing this every couple of months as it will not only preserve the life of the computer, but it'll help with battery life as your MacBook isn't running full throttle and using all that energy to keep it cool. So to start off, you need two things, a P5 Penelope screwdriver, depending on your MacBook. I bought this kit for 15 bucks off of Amazon and it has served me well over six years. You don't have to break the bank to buy name brand stuff. They're all basically made in the same place in China. The second thing you're gonna need is a dad with an air compressor. Or if you don't have a dad, you can use those overpriced PC gaming Febreze cans. I'm just kidding, don't use Febreze. But those compressed duster cans work just fine too. If you have a suction cuppy and some plastic picks, these aren't necessary but do make your life a lot easier. If you've dabbled with repairing your iPhone screen, then you shouldn't have a shortage of these. God knows how many I have in this box. Hashtag right to repair. So start off by taking out all the screws in the bottom. I use a piece of tape to kind of map out where each screw went so I can put them back where they were originally. So before moving on and taking off the back plate, do you watch a couple teardown videos to see how people take off the back plate for your specific MacBook? I have the 2020 16 inch MacBook Pro, so this would apply to a lot of the newer MacBooks, but Apple's really trying their hardest to stop you from digging into your Mac, so just be careful as you can make a massive dent in your back plate. So if you have a similar MacBook to me, this is how it's done. I use the suction cup on the corner towards the front of the MacBook and lift up just enough to put the pry tool in between the crevices, and then you want to run the pry tool or whatever plastic prior you have along the side and you want to lift up enough until you hear a pop. That pop is those hidden clips that hold the back plate to the body letting go and you want to just do the same to the other side. So next you want to lift up and slide the back plate out. This is a bit tough especially if it's your first time but just find these little pry points and just push with all your might. Try not to lift it up too high and just keep pulling and pushing towards you and eventually it'll come out. These are what the clips look like. As you can see Apple really doesn't want you digging into this computer. Now that we have it open you can see all the dust caked on the fans and all throughout. I haven't cleaned this laptop once since I got it and it's been about six seven months now. So if you're using an air compressor you do want to make sure not to go over 30 psi as anything higher will murk the shit out of your laptop and destroy all the insides most air compressors like this one have a knob or a valve that you can turn engage and control the outlet pressure so even though the air pressure is quite low you still want to be careful and not bend any ribbons or anything in a way that they're not meant to bend make sure you don't go completely under certain things to where they'll pop off or lift off and just be mindful and smart about it but look at this shit this is why your laptop sounds like it has a bronchitis at times it's trying to cough this shit up yeah i'm aware that a lot of you niggas <laughs> don't like me but i don't care what i okay <laughs> After you're done spraying out the insides, make sure to spray the back plate. That shit is covered in dust and weird guck, so make sure to clean it off as best as you can, otherwise your laptop is just going to suck this all back up. And the hardest bit is at the end, it's putting this back plate back on, because you got to get it into those nubs, and if it goes lopsided in there, which it can, and that happened to me, it's going to leave a huge opening along the sides and the creases aren't going to be flushed together. So just take it slow, make sure that it snaps in. It's going to take, take a couple minutes, don't rush it. Once it's in and it looks all good, you can pop the screws back in. I highly recommend putting the same screws in the same spot. Just make sure the screws go straight down and not at a weird angle and that they're flush with the backside of your Mac. It's kind of hard to see, but I was using this tape to hold the screws and all the dust that I blew out went right onto it. There's just so many little particles with crumbs and just nastiness that was in my computer. 
God, that shit is so dirty. And since you have it out, might as well air compress the keyboard and screen and get any particles or dust or crumbs that you have hiding away. Just be careful with the air around the screen as the air can travel up and actually crack your screen. And after you're done, just give her a solid wipe down. Make sure there isn't bits of crumbs and dust clinging onto the screen or the outside body. And she's good as new. I know this process seems really tedious, but it's actually a very noticeable increase in performance, battery life, and overall temperature of my MacBook. This is something that like I actually can tell the difference of doing and I highly recommend you do it as well and that you do it at least once a year maybe just overall it'll make your computer last longer it'll save on battery life and you'll get top-notch performance that you paid for so yeah thanks for watching cleaning the inside of your computer is really important and it actually did solve my overheating and just loud fan but as Intel MacBooks are we're cursed with loud fans but it did have a significant impact so if you found this video helpful please leave a like I'm not your mom so I can't make you subscribe but i would greatly appreciate that and yeah i'll catch you guys next time peace